very early in the process. We're watching a disorganized area of shower and thunderstorm activity that is probably going to develop into something as we get into that five-day window, maybe six-day window. So that's the only reason I think that this number isn't even a little bit higher. It's because we're still several days away. And you know how good the tropical models are. Even when there's a, a, you know, a strong hurricane by day five to six, there's a huge realm of possibilities on the track. And that's exactly the issue here. We're going to eventually start to develop something as we head towards the Yucatan Peninsula. But at that point, it, the, the spin is, 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 is more a gyre. There's a, an area to the north, an area to the south that are kind of pinwheeling around each other. European model says this is the one that takes off. GF, GFS model says it's the southern one that takes off. So that has some pretty big implications down the road as we follow that area to watch towards the Yucatan. Uh, does the high pressure area off to the north keep this moving off to the west without any real good window to go northbound? That allows Mexico, maybe Texas into play. Or does that ridge back off a little bit and maybe that northern part of the gyre takes off sooner? That allows not only the path That's to going Texas, to Louisiana. To Just wait and see. Louisiana or Mississippi. Guarantee That's Louisiana. Those are still both in play. Uh, stick around over the next couple of minutes here through the commercial. I'll show you what those... Uh,